What is going on guys? My name is Connor and today we have another mail day video. Uh, I know you guys know what all these packages mean and all the blue tape. So I have a quite a variety of packages here. Um, some of them are like rookie lots and some of them are cards I like. So pretty big variety. Hopefully there's something for everyone in this uh, in this opening, but we shall see. I need to make a little room for myself um, and let's get into it uh, I I know I always say this but I really do not know what each of these packages is so it's always a little surprise for me as well um, this one appears to be some Trevor story rookie cards and that is a an interesting way to package them I've never never seen that before so let's uh, open them up and see what I got I was actually uh, looking at this eBay listing today because I know one of my co-workers um, has been buying some Trevor Story cards so I was like I think I have some some Trevor Story cards coming up here maybe you should check out my mail day oh also elephant in the room I guess if you want to call it that um, today is Thursday, so it is not a, uh, a standard Friday upload like we would normally see from me on this channel. Um, I have tomorrow off of work, so I wanted to take tomorrow off of the channel as well. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we have two Trevor Story Bum Chrome rookie cards. Those are from 2016. And then we have a out of the gate Trevor Story Bowman parallel, and then a uh, Heritage rookie card for Trevor Story, and then a, uh, a Stadium Club for Trevor Story as well, and this one is from 2018. So, obviously, I was mostly after these three, the three rookie cards, um, but it was a five-card lot, so that is what we ended up with. I'm trying to figure out how much screen I have to work with here. Let's get into another one of these plain white envelope ones. Um, not sure what this one is. Ah, uh, we got a Juan Soto on the top there and a Shane Bieber on the back. So I, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you do. Uh, I am an Indians fan, so I have been on Shane Bieber for a while now. Uh, I've been trying to get his cards when I can, um, and then, so we got the Shane Bieber and then the uh, Otani rookie debut, so those are two nice ones, uh, the Shane Bieber card's gone up in value a lot since he kind of looks like maybe he's the best pitcher in the majors this year, I'm not saying he is, I'm just saying that's kind of how it looks this year, um, so I have five or six I, I don't remember of his uh bowman chrome auto and i got them all for you know somewhere around 10 20 bucks and now they go for well over 100 so let's see what this one is all right i, I remember what this one is so this one is from a reddit trade uh, i got a uh, 2006 verlander rookie um, this was from a guy, I want to say his username on Reddit is author who sucks, maybe, or I might be mixing up some Reddit usernames, um, but he was big into the hobby, and then he stopped in 2006, so I, I told him, I was like, hey, I would be interested in a uh, Justin Verlander rookie from 2006 if you had one, and he sent me an extra top loader because he did not have painter's tape, so that was really nice of him. Uh, pretty happy with the, uh, the Trevor, not Trevor Story, I was looking at Trevor Story there, and I meant to say Justin Verlander rookie. So let's see what we got in this next one. Um, so some of these are for my PC, but this is really the first mail day where I kind of bought a little bit of everything or traded for a little bit of everything. Um, so here's two nice ones. We got a a Topps Gallery uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and a first Bowman paper of Jesus Lusardo. Those are two nice ones. Uh, pretty happy with, with those trades. I, I do believe that was a trade. I don't remember what I gave up, um, but like I said, uh, a lot of this is not necessarily for my PC, so if you do uh, see something you like, there is a pretty good chance I would uh, sell or trade it to you, um, 
if that is something you were interested in. So this one's a weird package. I might have just clipped a card. No, I didn't clip a card. All right. Whew. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that was. Let's see if I can pull it out here. Oh, it was... It was a greeting card, so so I guess I did clip a card. <laughs> it just wasn't a baseball card. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, a lot of cards. I believe I traded for. I think so. We got a Anthony Rendon on the top, uh, a Joey Votto rookie. What else we got? Man, these two are stuck together. We got a Starling Marte rookie, and I'm pretty sure this last one's a Zach Wheeler, if I remember correctly. Uh, pitcher for the Phillies. Now, um, yeah, Zach Wheeler. Uh, yep, so those are the four cards. A little stuck together. I'll switch the top loaders. I had one of these 2008 Joey Votto cards uh, a while ago, but I gave it away in the last giveaway, which is a perfect segue to remind you to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of our upcoming 500 subscriber giveaway where I take a medium flat rate box and fill it with all sorts of goodies for whoever the winner is. Um, we're, we just eclipsed 400 subscribers today, so thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, next goal, 500 so we can do the giveaway. So let's see what we got here. Bonds Donruss. Yep, that's it. It's the uh, the first time on this channel. I guess well, I guess not the first time on the channel. Um, I've gotten a few uh, cards from '89 for Omar Vizquel in mail days before, so this isn't the first time I dip back before the uh, the 2000s. But man, he packages well. I'm still trying to trying to get it open. Um, I really like Barry Bonds. Uh, I know he uh, has his issues, but I do think that this year he will. Well, I guess I don't know about this year. The uh, the pandemic delays everything. But I do think he will get into the Hall of Fame. So I was pretty happy to pick up a few of his rookie cards now that I finally have them open. Um, looks like one, but looks like he slid a few of them into this one thick top loader so I'm still trying to get to the actual cards um, and let's see if I can get them out of this top loader here so this is Bonds' 87 Donruss card which is uh, one of his rookie cards all things considered his initial rookie card man there's a lot in here it's like a it's like a clown car um, his initial rookie card was the Two, uh, not 2000, <laughs> um, was his 1986 Topps Traded card. That's his uh, one of his only cards in 1986. Um, but a lot of people recognize 87 as his rookie card. So these aren't centered the greatest. I mean, you can see right there on the, uh, the little baseball borders, there's two baseballs here and one baseball here. So they're not centered the best, but I did manage to pick up six of them. So maybe this one grade, would grade pretty well. Uh, pretty happy about that purchase. I think Barry Bonds is really good. Obviously, everyone thinks Barry Bonds is really good. It's just whether he was ethical or not to get to that point. So hopefully he gets into the Hall of Fame and those go up in value so I can sell a couple of them and then keep a couple more for my own collection. So getting into this next package, looks like we got a nice lot of cards. I like I said, guys, I don't always remember what I buy. I just kind of just kind of peruse uh, eBay and Reddit sales and Twitter sales and just anything I think is somewhat valuable. I'll uh, place a bid on. So we got a Boba Shet rookie, one, two, three, four Jordan Alvarez rookies, an Aquino, a Luis Robert, and then an, a rookie of the year, um, Jordan Alvarez. Uh, rookie of the Year favorite, Jordan Alvarez, which is interesting because he won Rookie of the Year in 2019. So it seems odd to have him as a 2020 Rookie of the Year favorite. 
I kind of doubt he's going to win it this year. Just a hunch. Um, and then let's see what's in this other pack. We had a nice wander on the front there. It looks like we got another Jordan on the back. Um, get rid of those team bags. We got a Wander Franco, another Aquino, and 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 a Gavin Lux. And we got a Talent Pipeline. We got Luis Robert and Andrew Vaughn. That's a neat one. And then another Wander, another Aquino, Gavin Lux, top prospect card, and the Jordan Alvarez. So I'll uh, I'll set these all in one stack underneath the Luis Robert, which is probably the best card there. He uh, came out of the gate hot. He's cooled off a little bit since then. I think he's hitting, what, like 276, and he's got a couple homers and four steals. Don't quote me on that. Um, but he is looking like he's got a chance to be the real deal. Similar player to Trout or Acuna. I know Aloy Jimenez uh, has said some pretty positive things about him. Um, but let's move on. Let's get into this next uh, bubble mailer. I almost called it a pack. I guess you could call it a pack since it is, in fact, packaged. Um, and it might stay that way if I cannot manage to get it open, but it looks like we got some more cards in here. A nice Francisco Lindor on the back there. Um, we have a, a Jan Gomes um, relic from the, the All-Star game 2018. We got a Francisco Lindor prism card. Francisco Lindor 2020 opening day. A uh, Savali rookie. A Kluber Cy Young award winner. A Francisco Lindor All-Star Game, Jose Ramirez, and then this is the reason I bought this lot of cards. I remember now I bought this lot on Reddit, and there were three Shane Biebers in it, and I don't remember what I paid, but I was like, man, I'd be happy paying that just for those three Shane Biebers. So getting the extra cards, the Savali rookie who is doing great this year, and the Jan Gomes relic, not too upset about that. So I'll make sure that the Biebers are on the top and I will put them in sleeves after the video. Do not worry, guys. I always sleeve up my cards after the video. Um, let's get into this next one. I, I, okay, so I think I know what this one is. And this one may not have been my best eBay purchase, but I'm still not upset about it because it was pretty cheap. Or it could be something completely different and I'll have to change my tune entirely. Um, but no, this is exactly what I thought it was. We have a 2017 buyback auto of Mitch Hanniger. Um, Mitch Hanniger has been injured for what feels like three seasons now. Um, but for the seven or so dollars I paid for it, you can't be upset with a Chrome buyback rookie auto of a... Uh, Formerly, I guess you would have to say now, good player. It looks like the sticker is peeling off a little bit there, but that is okay. Um, I will try and find a spot for him on the screen. Well, not put him in the middle. He's he's not he's not deserving in the middle. But we'll put him off to the left here. Uh, getting into this next package. Um, like I said, guys, this one's going to be a little long because there is quite a bit of everything in here. So. Looks like this one's another lot of cards, if I can manage to get it out with the, the cardboard and quite a few top loaders in there. So, you're welcome, friend. Um, so let's see what this one is. Let's see if I can just peel the, the tape off since it's, it's painter's tape. I don't have long nails, so it makes it a little more difficult. But not too bad overall. Um, so let's see what we got here. Looks like another rookie lot from primarily Bowman, if I had to guess. Uh, so we have a Kyle Lewis, Aristides Aquino, Bo Bichette, another Luis Robert, another Gavin Lux, a Nico Horner, and a Jordan Alvarez. So I'm pretty sure this is a lot that I got from Dragonborn something something or other on the, uh, the baseball card subreddit. So thank you for that. But the Luis, the Luis Robert on top there again. Uh, getting into the next pack. I, I keep saying pack. It's, it's my standard transition. Um, as always, if you uh, like what you see here, please leave a like. It really does help me out. 
And uh, if you want to see more of it, you could subscribe. Get us one step closer to that 500 subscriber giveaway. And if you have something to say, let me know in the comments down below. I uh, try to always respond to those. So, hey, look, we got another Kyle Lewis rookie card right on top there. there are quite a few cards in this lot. Let's see what we've got. We got a Kyle Lewis, Jesus Lusardo, Bobachet, Gavin Lux, AJ Puck, Zach Gallen. Uh, we got an Oscar Gonzalez, first Bowman, a Yu Chang rookie, Logan Allen rookie, Bobby Bradley rookie, Aaron Savali rookie, a Shane Bieber, a Francisco Lindor, a Tyler Freeman. So it looks like I have a whole Indians Bowman set here. Nolan Jones, another Tyler Freeman. Aristides Aquino, Luis Robert, Jordan Alvarez, Trent Grissom, Dustin May, and Nico Horner. So this stack of rookie cards is getting a little tall, but that is okay. Because we have three Luis Robert rookies, so it's just going to keep getting closer and closer to the screen, and I'm eventually going to knock it over on accident. Getting into the next one. Uh, also, one thing I would be interested to know, let me know in the comments down below, would you prefer if my videos were uploaded on a different day? I'm uh, kind of running a mini experiment since uh, normally I upload on Friday, but today is Thursday. Kind of want to see how it affects views, if at all. Um, so if you have a preference for what day you would like to see my videos on, let me know. I can be flexible. Um, I was kind of stuck between wondering if people would watch it more on Friday because it's the weekend or people would watch it less on Friday because it's the weekend and they're doing other things. So let me know. I would really appreciate the feedback uh, because ultimately I cannot be successful without you guys. So if you guys want to see something, let me know and I will try to make it happen. Looks like we got some Jordan Alvarez is here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got, <laughs> I apparently bought a lot of 12 Jordan Alvarez rookies. Uh, I think he is scheduled to come back pretty soon. Um, I know I keep getting updates that he is just tearing the cover off the ball in intra-squad in, intra -squad scrimmages. Um, but he has still yet to find his way back onto the Astros lineup. And they're actually kind of struggling right now, so maybe they could use him. It looks like we have... A tops clearly authentic card. I know what this is. Flip it around. We have a tops clearly authentic Logan Allen auto out of 25. This is his rookie card. Uh, he had his first relief appearance of the year uh, the other day. Got knocked around a little bit, but that's okay. Um, this one is definitely for my PC and not as an investment. Uh, since Logan Allen is a I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say he's a lower end player, but one of the less desirable names. I thought maybe I could go and get one of his uh, autos out of 25. Uh, pretty happy about that. I already have one of his uh, Inception autos out of 99. And I think that's a pretty cool one, but I wanted either a blue or a red one because those are the Indians colors. So I was really happy with that. Um, Moving on to the next package, I actually just put the tape on this one before the video. Uh, so this one's got to be one of my more recent purchases. And let's see what it is. It's a pretty thick package. Uh, looks like there's another Beau Bichette on the back. Uh, it appears that there is quite a bit of bubble wrap on it as well. And some tape. So let me, let me try and get all this out of the way. I'm sure that sounds great. Um, and then there's a jewel case in here as well, which is also taped shut. Oh boy. Um, I can get this open. We'll just grab the knife. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, did that get it? No. Well, I thought I could get it open. Maybe I can't. Um, where is it stuck? On this side? 
Oh, I see. Turns out I'm just dumb. So this whole thing is plastic and it slides in there. Good job, Connor. All right, so let's see what it is. Hey, look, it's more Boba Shet. Uh, I'm a big Boba Shet fan, if you guys have not realized. Um, I think he's a great player. Uh, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Boba Shet rookies. Can't be too upset about that. We'll set him with the Jordan Alvarez's. Uh, let me get the jewel case out of the way. Uh, moving on to the next one, it looks like we have five more. This one feels pretty heavy, so we'll see what it is. Um, what do you guys want to see next from me on the channel? Um, I don't really have a plan for any videos after this one. I mean, I have plenty of stuff to open. I just don't know what you guys want to see. So, um, if there's something you guys want to see, do let me know. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you want to, uh, to hit me up on either Twitter or Instagram, and ask me what I have uh, that I could possibly open. I would uh, I would take a listen and maybe chat you up back. So it looks like we have a lot of Otani rookies here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get them all out of these bags so it's easier to go through them. Uh, we have, what, four of his Bowman paper rookies. So that's kind of cool. As always, I'm always after some Otani rookies. It's a real shame that his elbow is failing him and he is done pitching for the year, but hopefully we can see him uh, pitch again next year. Uh, we'll see, though. We got a freshman flash, an Allen and Ginter world talent, Japan, a rookie favorites from Heritage, a gallery, and a now and then California deal-in. Um... I imagine this is probably also out of heritage. So, those are cool ones. Uh, we'll put this one on top. I think that one's my favorite. But we are not done with the Otani rookies. We still have a few more. Um, this was definitely from a uh, trade and sell. Uh, I traded this guy on Reddit a few cards for his Otani stuff, but my stuff was worth a little bit more. Um, so, we ended up doing a cash kicker. Uh, this one is one of my favorite Otani rookie cards because it is not an Otani rookie card. Uh, it's the 1984 design, which means it is from 2019 instead of 2018. So it's not actually his uh, rookie year, uh, but it did get the rookie card insignia, so that's pretty neat. And then we got three more Bowmans, a, uh, an insert, and then this one. Uh, which I do have a PSA 10 of. This one is most likely not a PSA 10. Looks like it's off-center a little bit right to left. Uh, but a cool card nonetheless. Uh, I'll keep the, uh, the 84 Otani on top, as that one is probably my favorite. So let's get into this next one. Uh, I did receive some... I don't want to call them business cards, but they're kind of like business cards uh, in the mail today, um, or not today, I got them in the mail yesterday, uh, so anytime you guys complete a sale or trade with me, um, I will send you one of those, and you guys can see all of my uh, social media uh, names, and as well as my YouTube channel, but if you're watching this, you already know about my YouTube channel. It's more so for people that I sell to on eBay or Reddit. Um, looks like this guy sold me some Barry Bonds cards, and he put them in a cutout or two cutout sleeves of uh, of a binder. Um, I think there's more than one in each of these. So we have two 87 tops Barry Bonds rookie cards. And then we have in here, uh, we have two more, maybe? Let's see if I can get them out. Here we have two more 87 tops Barry Bonds cards. So those are nice. I will sleeve those up immediately after the video so they uh, stay in the best shape they can. So let's get into this next one.
Um, I think I know who this is from, but I don't quite remember. Yeah. Uh, so we have an Otani rookie card. Uh, this is from his 2018 Series 2. Yes, 2018 Series 2. That's a nice rookie card. I think that is his uh, his first official rookie card for Tops. And it looks like we have a couple more here. We have the 83 design and another 84. So the 83 design was from 2018. The 84 design was from 2019, yet they both have the rookie card insignia. So that's kind of cool. And then a, uh, a Bobby Bradley, a Tommy LaStella, a Yu Chang, and then another Yu Chang. That one's a Don Russ, and then another Yu Chang. So um, these are from Andrew Cohen. Uh, he usually comments or uh, messages me on Twitter, and he just started a... Uh, a new Twitter account where he does card sales and I bought a Rafael Devers rookie from him just last night so go check him out on there I'm sure he will comment his uh, Twitter handle down below because I cannot remember it because I'm pretty sure it has a bunch of numbers on the end so I will not be able to uh, just recite that from memory but I'm sure he can comment down below and you guys can check him out that way so this one is actually one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see through the bubble mail or, or the bubble wrap there, but um, this was from a sale on Reddit. Um, David Fletcher on the back. So this was before the season, uh, before David Fletcher decided he was going to be a really good baseball player. Um, so let me show you those first. So I got two. David Fletcher Tops Chrome 2019 Rookie Cards. Uh, like I said, it, before, I do live in Orange County, so I go to a lot of Angels games when I can. Uh, and watching David Fletcher play is pretty fun, so I think I got each of these for like 5 bucks, or maybe it was 5 bucks total. I don't remember. Uh, but it was pretty cheap, so I was happy about that. And David Fletcher is having a pretty, pretty good season so far. So I feel even better about it. But the main card I was after that he was also selling was this one. A Daniel Espino Bowman's Best Auto. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is numbered out of 10. So that's a really cool one. Um, I do have a, uh, a black first Bowman Chrome Daniel Espino uh, that I've opened in a previous mail day. Um, but that one's really cool. I really like that one. We're going to cover up to Mitch Hanniger for him. And then I think this is the last package, which means by process of elimination, I know what it is. And it is going to be similar to that Logan Allen card right there. But it's not going to be Logan Allen. And the last card, we have a 2020 clearly authentic Aaron Savali 29 of 50. Uh, Aaron Savali is the number four starting pitcher for the Indians. Uh, he's off to a pretty good start this year. He was uh, really good in his uh, small sample size last year. Um, but he's off to a good start now. Uh, I believe he's pitching to tomorrow, not today. The Indians have today off. He's pitching tomorrow. Um, but yeah, numbered out of 50. I really like Clearly Authentic and Archive Signature Series. I like the ones that come in these uh, these pre-made cases. And holy poop, this is a long video, 29 minutes. Um, so that is our mail day. Lots and lots and lots of rookie cards and rookie lots for that matter. Um, like I said earlier, if you uh, like what you see here, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of it, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Uh, gets us one step closer to that 500 subscriber giveaway. And if you have something to say, leave a comment down below. If you uh, want to mention what you want to see next week, either comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram or Twitter. I'll be sure to respond. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.